Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Gran Turismo 7. We are doing the circuit experience of Trial Mountain. In a ranking online um, on the difficulty of circuit experiences, it's more or less ranked in the middle. There's like a list, uh, if you go Google it, uh, difficulty circuit experience, it's a Reddit list. Um, it is marked as in the middle, but to be honest, I found that first sector in the previous episode quite challenging. Now let's see what the second uh, sector will bring. Right corner, then um, a little bit uh, fainter right, then a similar uh, yeah, 90 degree left hand, and then the straight downhill. mistake. Screaming car this. Really pretty cool car. Alright, I'm taking it a bit easy. Now, I saw in the Previous episode, we also watched the footage of the track from uh, in, in the menu just to get a feel for the corners. And I saw one tunnel which I couldn't really place. It, it didn't really look like the the big, the very long tunnel at the end, which uh, goes uh, exits towards the downhill straight. But then I was like, yeah, maybe it's just the uh, the other side of that long tunnel, like the the exit uh, side of it. But nope. Uh, my initial feeling was right, it was a different tunnel and it was indeed, I'm pretty sure it was the tunnel that we just went through in this uh, sector 2. It's a shorter tunnel, so there are two tunnels in Trial Mountain. Anyways, I thought to mention that for the records. like a longer straight before that long tunnel. I think they changed it a bit compared to uh, GT4. Then the hairpin, a little bit of curvy section, corner to the right and corner to the left. Right, it's all about learning the breaking point, I guess. Where do we break? I will take that little sign. that corner quite a bit but breaking over here at the side seems to be pretty okay so that would be right about here there I 
break a little bit too late. And here I have no idea where to break. Ah, almost goal time. It's really not that hard uh, after all these sectors. Right, I will break a little bit before the sign. Should have kept on breaking. I let go of the pedal mid-turn. And there I must break. Second corner I must break earlier. Let's break with the three shadows on the ground. Oh, I could have gotten on the gas, gas earlier. It's enough. No. Um, all right, so now we do that last turn down the straight, mini straight, and then the chicane towards the uh, long start finish straight. All right, again, finding more breakpoints is the name of the game. I have no idea where to break. Okay, so I need to break before the yellow starts at the right. So I was breaking where you see dirt. the um, goal. Right, so apparently that is more than enough for the goal time. So the times are really lenient, which is nice for a change. Let's immediately get into the full lap tech. Raising the wall. Man, it's a pretty fun trek. We'll not deny it. Have fun car.
elevation change unsettles the uh, rear end with full uh, power. Totally missed that corner. Shit, should have um I should have shifted back more, shifted down more. God damn it, that's a longer corner. And I expect and also the shadow that was there during the uh, sector test different now, so that was my breaking point. God damn it, I'm missing this corner continuously. I need to break earlier then. God damn it. In the um, in the sector test.
seven tenths is what we need. God damn it. here. God damn it! Get on the gas earlier over here. No. Still seven tenths too slow. this corner for a change. Cut that corner quite a lot. Fuck me, going through it quite well. Again, screwing it up every time. 
<coughs> it goes well, I get somehow anxious in the next section and screw it up. cannot cut it that much, but you can cut it quite a lot. It's the most frustrating part to film. Gracing that inside curve. Or rock, whatever it is. Alright, I really got airborne over there. Well, a little bit lifting is probably advised. Totally forgot to break. I just shifted back. Without really tapping the brake. Totally missed my fucking breakpoint over there as well. God damn it. Come on. Fuck you. Fucking bitch popping up with a fake smile. I still don't know where the correct breaking point here is. I knew that she came much faster, I guess. Yeah, 
very bad uh, time uh, damage. All right, I can end. I'm already over time. If I don't make it in a couple of tries, you will see it uh, successful run at the start of the next episode. Maybe best keep it in third over there. Nice! Alright. Was not expecting that to work. Alright, I was really um, close to failing again. 6,000. But you know what? A win is a win in my book. Alright, I will quickly uh, show you the breaking points. Alright, really weird that that one worked. Um, Alright, full throttle. And then, once you see those stripes uh, in the middle of the road on the tarmac start, you quickly um, lift off, tap the brakes to shave off a little bit of speed steer in and this is quite dangerous because you really want to steer in as close as possible to position yourself well for the next right hander but yeah if you, if you graze the, the railing it's uh, disqualified so it's uh, yeah quite a tricky corner not that hard but it's pretty fun it's really violent this section but there's quite a good uh, amount of grip in this car even if you spin out you can sometimes really oppose to other cars that really spin out if you only Look at it, this car you can actually uh, uh, save uh, the car and correct the spin and just continue like uh, nothing happened. So you uh, tap the brakes and then it's a little bit of lifting but also applying the throttle as soon as possible. You can really, you see over here, I think I'm really with my left tires on the curb so you can really abuse this corner quite a lot. The right side of the car is fully on the grass. So this qualification rule over here with track limits, it's not really that uh, strict. So over here, again, try to, as much as possible, if you feel the car is stabilizing a bit, get on the power to keep the speed. Uh, but also here, very briefly, not even braking, but only lifting off. This car has a lot of grip, so it's just momentarily lifting off and again, immediately uh, apply the power. Then once you enter the tunnel is where I start to break and back to third. Really sharp uh, steering. Try to keep it as close as possible to the uh, inside uh, pavement without touching it because I guess that's a disqualification. Uh, and then over here start opening up and be aware that once you do apply more than 50-70% power and you have still uh, quite some steering angle try to avoid that steering angle once you get on top of this hill because otherwise with the suspension 
um, extending again after the uh, compression from, from the hill itself. On top of the hill it will extend again uh, a bit. Uh, it will decrease your grip over the rear tires. If you are then uh, on the power and with some steering angle you will for sure spin out. So try and keep before you apply full throttle here, uh, the, the, the steering angle at the minimum, like what I have now, it preferably dead straight on, but like a slight uh, angle, it's, it's not the bad, uh, not the worst, because the car does still have uh, yeah, uh, an amazing amount of grip. So here, full throttle, and once you see that little sign to the left, or, or no, 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 the rock before it, that sign is too late. The, that back um, like so here we go through the tunnel next attack and this second rock so the first rock to the left that you see now that is where you need to start breaking so that is really before that white sign here you start breaking and this corner feels way slower than uh, yeah, then feels natural, but you cannot take it harder. Otherwise you go wide and crash out. Uh, and you also really have to be careful not to touch that inside piece of rock here and be disqualified. So keep it in thirds easily. Just uh, take your time. Uh, take the, yeah, the rounding the apex. And then over here, get on the power. I think over here you can just, you don't need to, uh, shift up you can keep it in third and then uh, approximately over here at that uh, where the left turn turns into a straight you uh, break a bit and uh, hug this corner keep it in third and i think you can already get on the power much earlier than i did uh, it is a bit slippy again with the top of the hill that decreases the grip on top of the hill once the suspension um, uh, extends again um, but still I think I was too conservative here you really can get on the power earlier and then over here in the middle of the tunnel start braking back to thirds uh, try to find yeah the cross or follow this uh, white yeah maybe not fully cross because that's probably a disqualification with uh, off track limits or track limits but at least try to uh, ride this yellow uh, line and get on the gas as soon as possible because there's a long straight after it and uh, you want to carry the, all your speed uh, over that long straight. This is full throttle, obviously. or the yellow sign to the right is where I start breaking hard back to third I'm, I missed it a little bit here but over here you can already start applying the throttle across the car then uh, yeah you really just past the midway point of that sharp uh, left hander that corner you can already start increasing the throttle there's a lot of grip here and you just uh, straight on out like I do here here I briefly lift because otherwise I have the feeling that you go white and crash into the, the trees on the opposite side so briefly lift but be careful not to touch the, uh, the pavement because it's a disqualification uh, and then over here on top of the hill start braking back to thirds steer in try to carry some speed through but do brake uh, because otherwise you go uh, white but yeah, it's just a balance between uh, braking and still trying to be quick through this corner. And again, after the halfway point, start applying gradual uh, throttle to accelerate out, making use of full width of the track. And over here, just where you see that diagonal um, rubber mark, tire uh, skid mark on the tarmac is where approximately over here I start to brake. I'm not sure whether that's the best place to do it. I really didn't uh, have that much time on this track yet to get a feel. But uh, yeah, brake hard, back to thirds, steer in. And again, after the midway point, after the apex, try to gradually increase the throttle and full throttle out of the corner. Over here, my 
breaking point is just before that uh, dirty spot on the wall, so approximately over here. And I go back to second, I'm not sure if I'm taking this corner well, maybe I could cut it a bit more. That is what it is. And over here, I maybe I could have taken this right corner uh, a little bit sharper. I almost spun out a bit, but yeah, it's just coasting through that uh, corner. A bit, so back to seconds, coast through it, a little bit of gas, maybe tap the brake to get some weight on the front wheels to get more steering grip and then coast through this one and over here, depending what gear you are in. If you are in third gear, I think you can apply the throttle much more aggressively. But I'm in second gear, so really try uh, or apply the throttle gradually, otherwise you will spin out with this steering angle. Like you see, I almost spun out, I have to counter steer. And then over here, obviously full throttle towards start finish. All right, we'll do one full lap without commentary and um, also, I'm really happy that I got it in this episode because apparently the time is quite lenient. I don't feel that I know the track that well yet. It wasn't a very clean run, but uh, yeah, luckily it is uh, enough for um, golds. And it's nice so that in the next episode we can just uh, continue with the, uh, the next menu book. So uh, here we go. Side replay after a gold really takes me back to uh, oh, damn it! I really cut that corner off there. You really are allowed to really cut that uh, right hander that's coming up quite a bit. Here. here I'm with four wheels off the track so it's quite lenient there maybe as long as you are with your left wheels on the curb that it's not a disqualification I don't know but anyways this is for me really a throwback to GT4 watching the replays amazing also on this track
really cool car, by the way. I don't really like uh, modern cars, but this one feels super visceral. If this is a Vision GT car, I really like it. These are cool Vision GT cars. Downshift sounds. Epic sound overall. God damn it, that improves a lot compared with previous Gran Turismo games. Super epic. Really almost like an F1 sound. Yes, I cannot say anything else but epic. Uh, check out that sound. Very uh, good sound design. Anyways, this is the RX Vision GT3 concept. Yeah, so I assume this is a Vision GT car. I really like it, normally I hate them. They're way too alien and um, sci-fi for me. But this one could, uh, it's pretty close to a realistic model. All right, so we tackled the uh, circuit experience. Way too long episode, but yeah, really nice to keep it all in one. Uh, so I am happy with that. Uh, probably it will not be HDR because bigger file sizes YouTube has a big problem with them processing to HDR, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, guys, hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one where we continue with the menu books. Uh, for the meantime, do not forget always to keep on gaming. See you later.